How you feeling? Better. Uh, three hour plane flight should help, so. <laughs> um, no, but it should be good to go tomorrow. What happened? Just got super dizzy, uh, disoriented, didn't feel right. Um, went to the bench. Uh, you know, we both agreed that you know, maybe we should just give it a few minutes and then just didn't feel right at halftime. Um, put Tristan in to start the, uh, the second half and went from there. While you were uh, on the bench, what did, what did you see from the team, especially defensively, when you, when you gave up that many points? Well, you know, okay, see, they can just be um, you know, so powerful on the offensive end. I think they were just really hitting on all cylinders. Uh, you know, like what Paul George came out, hit his first few shots at 13 in the first quarter. He's tough to stop. Uh, you know, Russell was finding guys all night, and, you know, Melo had it going. Offensive rebounds, putbacks, and, um, you know, when they're clicking on all cylinders like that, they're, they're very tough to stop. So, um, you know, we just have to continue to keep, keep getting better and find the right spot so we can uh, be effective. So many of the guys have talked about it's not just one thing. You can't just focus on one thing because it's interconnected. So when it's like that, where do you even start? I think defensive end, um, playing inspired basketball, X's and O's on that end. Um, it has to be. It has to start there because whether you know, we're taking the ball out after a make or you know going after a miss, we have to you know play with pace and then we can start talking about the offensive end. But so much of the time we play well in the first half and then we have somewhat of a let up uh, in that second half where we either go hit a dry spell, um, shooting the basketball, we play without pace or we're just not getting from side to side. Um, but I think a lot of that is, is dictated on what we do on the defensive end, and right now we're struggling. Everyone on the outside seems to think the sky is falling. How do you feel about the state of affairs? Uh, well, we just, uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing about this league. You know, we say it all the time. We've probably all said it our whole careers is that games come at you so fast. So that's another, uh, another opportunity for us to, to get back on track. I know it's not easy against a team that's uh, perennially right at the top, especially not only the, the Western Conference, but the entire league. And is extremely well coached, but it's an opportunity for us to get a tough win on the road. Are you surprised that um, that there are no changes being made to lineups, rotations, things of that nature, just given how rough things are? Yeah, I mean, I think that's I mean, obviously that's up to up to Ty, but um, it's it's a tough position to be in because it's tough to do it when you're losing. It's tough to you know do it when you're winning. So it's it's a it's it, on both angles. It's from you know, being a head coach. I you know it's it's, it's tough to to envy that position because you have to make tough decisions and uh, I think Ty has done a done a great job and whatever changes or if no changes are made we'll roll with that and, and try to win. Kevin, why do you think this funk, if you will, has been so tough to shake? Why has it been so tough to shake? Uh, I think early on it was just you know, getting familiar with one another and I think um, you know after playing so well, having this lull to start the new year, it's just you know something we have to fight through together. It can't just be, you know, one or two guys. It has to be a collective unit. But um, I think like, uh, you know, Ty had mentioned today, getting more practice time in and, you know, fighting through this together is going to be a, uh, a big deal for us. <coughs> for a team that doesn't generally practice, is this kind of a, you know, shake up just for that, you know, more work? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's not necessarily uh, even more time spent out on the floor. It can be, uh, we've done a number of film sessions trying to correct things and trying to uh, you know get better just from a uh, like I mentioned X's and O's and from a mental standpoint approaching the floor knowing that we're all on the same page. All right. Are you pretty confident that the team is connected and together enough that there's no feeling of acceptance that this is who we are and maybe we're not good enough? Well I think that's another thing too is you know making sure that we have uh, that identity and but that's going to come with with you know, winning basketball games and finding uh, number of schemes and, and you know maybe even lineups or uh, you know different things that, that work well for us and we've seen it we've seen um, you know that we can string together a lot of a lot of wins uh, we've seen that you know, we can play really great quarters and halves of basketball but now it's putting it all together so um, you know it is there for us it's there for the taking there still is a lot of time left and we've shown in the past that we've been able to get better throughout a season and which is what you like to see and um, you know, I, I hopefully see us pushing through that here pretty soon. Okay. okay. So Thanks, you were already sick when you got dizzy, or was that? On the way to the happened? arena, but then, yeah, I felt fine, sat back on the training table, and, yeah, didn't feel too great. Oh, okay. So, yeah.
the West is coming, and we will be ready. Great seats are still available. Get yours today at Cavs.com slash tickets.